All right, let's talk about recursive and explicit functions. Uh, recursive functions are simply functions that repeat the same process on successive values to generate the next value. Um, so plain and simply here, each number in a sequence, and looking at this example, 3, 6, 9, 12, each number in the sequence relies on the number before it. To get 6, we added 3. To get 9, we added 3 to the 6. To get 12, we added 3 to the 9. Each number is a function of the number before it. So the next number would equal the current number plus 3 in this example. This is called a recursive function because we, are, can, we can repeatedly add 3 to the current number to get the next number. And the next number becomes our current number and the one after that becomes the next number. So it's just recursive in that it continues to repeat, reoccurs. All right. Explicit equations are functions that allow you to find any number in a sequence given its location in the sequence. So for example, the tenth element in the set could be found using a function with input 10. We don't have to know what the ninth element is to find the tenth element. And using the exact same um, example we had in the previous for the recursive function, we could also look at this as a an explicit function. This is the first number in the sequence. This is the second number in the sequence, the third number in the sequence, the fourth number in the sequence. And looking at the sequence, each element is three times the location of the element. So the second element was 3 times 2. The third element was 3 times 3. The fourth element was 4 times 3. So the fifth element would be 5 times 3. So you could find any element if you knew which element you were looking for. So the nth element would equal, in this situation, 3 times n. Uh, notice that for the explicit function, you don't need to know any of the other values in the sequence to find the nth element. If you know the function itself and you know which element you're looking for, you do not need to know any of the other elements in the function. So let's take a look at an example of how we could look at a situation and have recursive and explicit equations that represent that situation. So in this example, Bobby shared a YouTube video with three of his friends on Facebook. Within one minute, each of those friends shared the video with three of their friends. The pattern continued. Um, how many people received the video during the tenth minute? Now we can always sketch out a diagram here and, you know, in the first minute, three people got it. This was the zeroth minute, right? So here's the first minute within one minute. And then each of those three passed it on to three people. So in this instance, in the second minute, nine people got it. And you could draw this out in a tree, tree diagram. Um, but it would get very long even, I think, by the tenth minute. So let's go ahead and start writing down the sequence. Um, in the first minute, three people. In the second minute, nine people. And if nine people told three people, 27 people, right? So we have three, nine, 27. You should notice by now that we're multiplying by three, 81. And this would get us our, if we continue to express that all the way out. So what we're doing here, this is the recursive equation. Is next equals now times 3. And we also need to know 
that the first element was 3 because you can't do next if you don't know something that's in the sequence. So um, we're going to annotate here that the start was equal to 3. All right, so what about uh, an explicit sequence here? Well, you could look at it as this is the first element, second, third, and we need to find a formula now for each element in this sequence. Um, 1 times 3 is 3, but 2 times 3 is not 9, so it's not times 3 like we had here. What we have now is this is going to be 3 to the first power, this is going to be 3 to the second power, which is 9, 3 to the third power, since we're multiplying by 3 each time in this sequence, each successive 1 has another 3 multiplied with it. This is 1 3 multiplied together. This is 2 3's multiplied together. This is 3 3's multiplied together. So the nth element of this function, the or f of n, would be 3 to the n power. So here we have the explicit function. Here we have the recursive function. Now you could find the tenth minute, the tenth element in the sequence, um, either of the two ways, but the solution will be 3 to the tenth power which would be very significant in our calculators and you would have probably had to use the calculator in either event. Um, 3 to the 10th power 59,049 um, A note for recursive equations on the calculator. If you put your start value into your calculator. Press 3 and then enter. And I'm using a TI-83 plus or TI-84 plus calculator here. Um, if you press 3 and then press enter, we've now stored 3 as the last answer in our calculator. So press times 3 All right, now keep in mind we get it leave and press enter. All right, when we press 3 and press enter, we got out 3. When we did times 3 enter, that gave us 9. If you just keep pressing enter, it gives you the next number in the sequence, 27. Pressing enter, 81, enter, 243, 6,561, 
and this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth minute. We still got fifty nine thousand forty nine. Uh, you can see here by solving this out, even with the calculator, if you can get the explicit function, a lot of times, especially if you're finding a high element, um, you know, sometimes we have to find the 45th element in a sequence. Uh, it's very helpful to have this explicit equation so that you don't have to type so much in the calculator.